All right. Okay. So we're going to talk about the required equipment for an airplane. What what is absolutely necessary versus what's not necessary? Okay, most of y'all are familiar with this little phrase called tomato flames or goose a cat or a couple other things. I can never remember what all they stand for, so I'm lazy. I created my own. I call it SEA times three. The S is my safety items. So under safety, I have seat belts and my shoulder harnesses. We've already talked about when those have to be worn. Okay, the E is for my ELT. And uh, if I'm going more than 50 miles from home, I gotta have my ELT. And this is my anti-collision light. Okay, sorry, hang on a second. Uh, I'll just decline that. Come on, maybe I will. All right, come on, Never mind. Sorry. Uh, so the end collision light. All right. So those are the three things I have to have under the safety issue. Okay. And I'm going to have that end collision light uh, depending on the year model of my airplane. Okay. Uh, the E is for my engine. Okay. If I have uh, my engine, I have to have, I don't, sorry, don't get the SEA again, uh, but I have to have a tachometer. I need to have my fuel gauges. And then I need to know my oil pressure and temperature. I cheat a little bit. So I've got three major items under safety, three major items under the engine, and then to aviate. I need three more items, and those would be a compass, an altimeter, and an airspeed. Okay, so none of these items can be placarded out. That's the first thing you need to know. If my oil pressure gauge isn't working, the airplane isn't flying. My tachometer is not working, we're not going anywhere. Uh, if my airspeed fails in flight, I, gotta, I have to land, but I'm not going to take off again until I figure out why it failed and I get that issue resolved. Okay, so these are the items that are mandated by the FARs. I have to have those. Okay, there's a few others, and when you do the tomato flame, the manifold, if it's a um, constant speed prop, and a few other things, uh, landing gear. You know, so uh, if I have a complex airplane, I have another C times three, and oh, it's a different kind of C, but I have a gear indicator, flaps and uh, my prop, which means I've got my manifold indication. Okay, does that make sense? And so, uh, you know, so Mary's favorite question to ask when we're doing this, okay, uh, so Sue, we're in the 172, and during a pre-flight, we realize that the flaps aren't working. Mother, may I fly the airplane? You may not. I may not, but it's not on the list. And there's a lot of other things that aren't on the list. Okay, I don't see wings on there. I don't see <laughs> elevators or ailerons or gear. I don't see, a, wait a minute. Okay, there's a lot of things that the airplane needs that aren't on this list. It's a control surface, is that correct? You know, you know so understanding, uh, I don't have the wheels on there because some airplanes are on floats, some are on skis, whatever. So I have different, you know, uh, uh, a VTL Bonanza doesn't have an elevator and rotor, it's got rotor vators. A Mitsubishi uh, has spoilers instead of ailerons. There's all kinds of ways people do things. So this list is just, uh, these, if I'm gonna build a new airplane, these are required to be on, on there and functioning. Okay, if I build an airplane that doesn't have flaps, that's fine. Mm. If there's no flaps on the airplane, they don't, you know, you're like, okay. Uh, so, but if they have flaps on the airplane, now it comes to the manufacturer. And Cessna says, for a short fuel landing, you use full flaps. Okay, um, if I'm making an off airport landing, I may need to do a short fuel landing. Can't plan for it, okay. And the other part of 
it was, I didn't tell you what position those flaps were in. Okay, so if the flaps were fully extended and I can't retract them, I probably don't want to go anywhere. So ultimately it's kind of like, if they're, if I, you know, if they're failed in the up in the a retracted position, the airplane will fly just fine, but it's technically not legal. Okay, if I make a no flap landing, because I can and wanted to, and I didn't put them down on my pre-flight, who knows how long they haven't been functioning. So there's part of why they're on the pre-flight, but understanding there are certain things I can placard out of service and certain things I cannot placard out of service. Okay, if I'm in doubt, okay, uh, we can look at it. If I'm operating at a, and this list is on the, the website there. Uh, so if I'm at a controlled airport, I can't placard my radios out of service, can I? Or my transponder, if I'm in class Charlie or higher airspace. So that's a whole, that's a different kind of regulation. So there's things that I can placard out and things that I cannot depending on the circumstances. But the manufacturer is going to tell me that, okay, I may need flaps. Okay. Uh, and, and, you know, and then I get into the top certificate data sheets and those flaps from 10 degrees, they come down this many, de you know, degrees, full flaps, you know, and on my ailerons, this one goes up this many degrees and that one goes down this many degrees. It's, it's a very, you know, much an engineering document. So, uh, the top certificate data sheet, or the owner's manual, those are the things that tell me, uh, more in depth what I can and cannot use. Now, this is not an MEL. Okay, so if I've got commercial people on here and we're talking about MELs, that's a whole different topic. Okay, I'm not going to go into it here, but I've got the, I've got the FAA list, 91205, I think, says what these lists are. And then I've got the owner's manual or the di documentation from the manufacturer that says I've got to have these things. An MEL is when I'm flying the airplane uh, commercially, and basically I either have an MEL or everything has to work. Okay, so uh, that's a whole different animal. Uh, what about the night, Mary? Okay, for the night, uh, I've got to have uh, electrical power. Um, okay, so I've got to have my battery and my uh, alternator, uh, and then I have to have, if I'm flying, uh, um, if I'm flying for hire, this one kind of bothers me, uh, I need a landing light. Okay, if I'm out there by myself, I'm really not required to have a landing light. I'm like, okay. Uh, you know, so I'm like, would I take off knowing my landing light's not functioning? No, that's just not good sense. Okay, um, but that being said, student training is being used for hire. If we go over to Frederick and make a, a night landing and the landing light fails, we're supposed to park it. Okay, and then leave the airplane there or, or get it fixed and then come home uh, when I don't need a landing light. Does that make sense? Um, okay, so. Um, Fuses. Okay, any of my position lights. So, um, which one's which? Green. <laughs> yeah. You know, so, uh, I, you know, somebody taught me this phrase, leftover red port wine. <laughs> so, left, red, and port if you happen to be on a boat. And so, uh, and it's also the short words go together and the long words go together. So, the right and the green. Uh, and starboard, but uh, so the position lights, and then on the tail, uh, back here, we've got the white light. So I can, if I can see the white light, and then the um, the green light, then I know I'm, the, I'm, what part of the airplane I'm looking at, so I can kind of make a determination whether it's coming toward or moving away. Um, so I've got my electric power, my landing light, my position lights. What am I missing? Fuses. Fuses, yes. Okay. Uh, 
So, you know, so the, the, the acronym was FLAPS. Okay, so fuses, um, a landing light, uh, alternator, uh, position lights, and, uh, okay, now I'm lost. Uh, mm -hmm. This is why I hate acronyms. Um, switches? Maybe? Okay. Uh, or maybe was, I guess that was the source of power. Source of power. Anti-collision lights. Yes. So I also need an anti-collision light. And again, I needed that. In, well, I needed that. It's on both time. lists, though. You know, but yeah. it becomes uh, uh, different at night. It's the uh, fuses, landing light, anti-collision light, position lights, and my source of power. So I have a question. What? Why fuses? What fuses and or circuit breaker? Okay, because yeah. our it, airplane is circuit circuit but breaker. But it's and, and and or circuit breaker. Right. Okay. And you know, so true story. My Cherokee, a uh, young man used my airplane. Um, it was daytime. He knew the alternator wasn't working. Okay, he's bringing the airplane back to Vernon, and he knows it's going to be dark when he gets here. He doesn't call me, he calls a friend of a friend. And then he brings my airplane in, and guess what? He had no landing light when he got to Vernon. He had, you know, on that trip, it was a couple hundred miles. He lost all, you know, basically his battery died. Now, understanding, he took off knowing his alternator wasn't working. And then he posted on Facebook, Oh, I had to make this, you know, landing without any lights, and okay, and everybody's like, oh, you're a hero, you're my hero, you did so well, and I just wanted to smack him. You know, spend the night, I'll pay for the hotel room. Okay, um, it makes sense? Yeah. Don't do stupid, yes. If it had been the daytime, legal, eh, not so much. Safe, pretty safe. At nighttime, Kind of stupid. Okay, try to avoid doing stupid. You'll live longer. <laughs> uh, so that was the that was a specific night. Uh, what else do we want to? We need to take a quick break. Okay.